Hello everyone and welcome. This video is going to go over how to set up a Bill.com account. You will need a Bill.com account in order to receive reimbursement payments. Whether you prefer direct deposit or a physical check in the mail, you will need to follow these instructions. We highly recommend setting up the account for direct deposit as it is more secure, convenient, and faster. It's also free. The first thing you need to do is log into InfoCenter and click on the Reimbursements Direct Orders button. Now click on the Submit Request for Reimbursement button, which will pull up the Request for Reimbursement form. Now, submitting a request for reimbursement is not a required step for setting up your Bill.com account. This is just where you'll go to initiate the process. Feel free to submit requests for reimbursement before your Bill.com account is set up. Just know that you won't be receiving any reimbursement payments until you've completed these steps. On this form, Scroll down to where you'll see this first checkbox. Click the link on the words, this form, which will take you to a Google form. This form will only need to be completed once per family. If you filled out this form last year and you haven't made any changes to your bill.com account, then you do not need to fill it out this year. If you haven't submitted this form before or you're unsure whether or not you have filled it out, then go ahead and fill it out now. Here you will indicate your preferred method of receiving reimbursement payments. The two options are direct deposit or check in the mail. We highly recommend that you choose the direct deposit option as it is much faster, more secure, and more convenient. You can see here that the direct deposit option gets your reimbursement payments to you up to 10 times faster. Now you'll enter your first and last name, then your first name again, then your last name again, and finally enter your email address. Please note that all of these entries must match what is in your InfoCenter account. Once you're done, click Submit. Now that you fill out the form, you just need to wait. You will receive an email within three business days from Bill.com. The name on the email is Amy Bowman on behalf of MyTech High Inc. and the subject line is Bill.com invite from MyTech High. Check your spam folder as it might end up there. Once you receive the email, then at the bottom, click the blue button that says Accept Invitation. This link will expire, so create your account as soon as possible after receiving the email invitation. It will bring you to the Bill.com account creation page, where you'll enter your first name and last name and create a password. Once you've done that, click Create Account. On this page, enter your phone number so that you can receive a confirmation code and click Send Code. On this page, enter the confirmation code and click Submit. Be sure to enter it quickly as it will expire soon. On this page, select I'm with a business and click Next. On this page, enter your first name and last name under company name if it's not already pre-populated. Enter your phone number, your address, city, state, and zip. Under business type, select individual. And under industry, select education. For accounting software, select I don't use accounting software all the way at the bottom. And click Next. On this page, enter your first and last name under Company Owner and enter your date of birth. For the tax ID, select EIN and enter the number 20545482. Once you're done, click Next. OK, stop here for a second. If you prefer to receive a physical check in the mail for your reimbursement payments, then you're done. Just close the browser and you're good to go. If you prefer to receive a direct deposit, then continue by entering your bank information. This information is encrypted and it will help make receiving reimbursement payments quick, easy, and secure. Enter the routing number, the account number, the account holder name, and select the account type. Once you're done, click Save and Finish. And just so you know, MyTech High will never have access to your routing and account numbers. Sometimes there will be a page that asks you whether you want to create a paid account. You do not need to do this. You can continue with a free account only. Once you see this page here, you're good to go. Bill.com will make it seem like you need to send an invoice to MyTech High to complete your account setup or even to receive a payment, but you do not. In fact, MyTech High won't do anything with the invoices you send because we'll just send you the correct amount of money from the request for reimbursement form from InfoCenter anyway. Now all you have to do is submit some requests for reimbursement and you'll be able to receive the reimbursement payments. Thank you all for watching. 
If you have any other questions, please reach out to our parent support team through the Contact Us link at the bottom of each page at mytechhigh.com, and we'll put you in touch with the specialist that you need.